Hello YouTube family, welcome back to another video. My name is Audrey. Today I wanted to share a little story that I shared on my Instagram story yesterday. Um, I felt it would be fun to share this little video while I had the opportunity to do so. Uh, I was driving listening to an Abraham Hicks video and she said, how do you even know you want it until you don't have it? And she was speaking about other things and it stuck with me the entire day. And it makes, of course, it makes sense. How do you know you want something if you don't have it? How do you know you want to be happy if you haven't been sad? How do you know you want to eat if you haven't been hungry? How do you know you want to be financially free if you haven't been broke? And it reminded me of a little experience, a little life experience, similar, but not exactly, and I'll share why. So when I was younger, I was I would watch TV and I'm pretty sure it was Cribs. I don't know if anybody's seen that show, Cribs. Um, and they would show the beautiful houses and then they'd go to the bathroom and this really stuck with me. They'd go to the bathroom and show these amazing bathrooms and these showers and the showers got to me and I would see certain showers that had like a waterfall um, head and I thought that was so amazing. Like I really wanted a waterfall shower. And I don't know who does this or if anybody does this, but you have those type of like visions in your head. Like, okay, when I'm rich, like I'm gonna get this, it's a non-negotiable. So when I have a house, this was a non-negotiable, this waterfall shower, or like the little shower heads on the side. It just looked cool to me. I, it seemed like something I really wanted. So fast forward to the beginning of this year, I was lucky and grateful, grateful enough to take a trip to California. And I, I have a mentor who is very successful in life. I'm so grateful to know him. He is abundant in all aspects, money, love, joy, happiness, um, relationships, all that good stuff. So very grateful to know him. He was hospitable enough to let us stay at his place. Again, makes a lot of money. This home is very beautiful. A lot of different rooms, similar to that of Cribs, not super elegant. And one of these rooms had a waterfall shower. I was so blown away and excited about it because I was thinking, one, I feel like I manifested that trip to California and I was just so grateful to travel and be there. I've always wanted to travel and my life was going that way. I'll share many stories um, besides this. So I went to California and I felt my dreams were coming true. I'm finally going to take this waterfall shower. Like Things are happening for me. I'm manifesting all the things I want in my life. And then I took a shower in the waterfall shower. And I don't know if anybody's taken a waterfall shower. It sounds like a good idea, but when it was actually happening, the water is like coming down straight on your head like this. And you can't run away from it. Like there's nowhere to go. <laughs> At least with like a, an incline you can like move around and stuff so it was just really uncomfortable it was an uncomfortable experience and I was like ow ow I don't, ow, I don't like this <laughs> so um, I found out I didn't like the waterfall shower so the lesson I took from that is for so long I thought I wanted something that I saw on a television screen that I, I was just observing I thought I wanted this so badly I had made a committed decision that this is what I needed and then I experienced it and when I experienced it, I found out maybe that's not what I want. That's not what I want. I don't want a waterfall shower. And so it was similar to what she said, but not really. How do you know you even want something until you don't have it? And how sometimes we want something and or sometimes we think we want something. And then when we get it, it's not what we made it out to be. It's not what we want. Similar to taking advantage of not having something because now you know that you want something and that's what the game should be according to Abraham Hicks is the sprouts of desire that come from contrast contrast in our life the things we experience we figure out what we don't want and what we do want and that should be the goal instead of focusing so much on not having something or something not going the way we like it to identify it as okay I did not like this so what do I want from this? Okay, I want this. Oh my gosh. And then focus on whatever it is you do want. Um, taking advantage and using our experiences to our advantage instead of being a victim to what we see. 
in the outside in the outside world. So I thought that was a fun little story, and it's a definitely a really fun reminder to remind myself how when I get too carried away or create a vision, um, just to let it flow a little bit and not be so so uh, so strict on what I want because. I could not want it when I actually experience it. So just welcoming the feeling of the things I want and trying to be more open to accepting um, accepting what it is, even if it doesn't look the way it should, which has happened a lot. And that's my little story. Until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.